Hi, I'm Michelle Crummel, and I'm going to show you a quick and easy way using an app called TurboScan that you can scan your handwritten work as a PDF, even if you have multiple pages, so that you can quickly submit it online. So you're going to go into the App Store and search for an app called TurboScan. Now the one I have installed on my phone is TurboScan Pro, but you can also get the free version. So let me just try and get the free version so we can see how that works. And we will open the app. And to scan your work, it's really easy. You've got some options on the bottom. I like to use the the three X in the middle. And what that's going to do is take three pictures of your work. And I guess somehow it chooses the best one of the three or merges them into a single copy. You don't have to press any button to take the photo. You literally just hit that three X. And then just hold your phone over the image. I'm not pressing any buttons. It's automatically taking the pictures for me, taking the three pictures and then it's giving me you know, this image when I'm done. Now, right now, it's kind of like midline contrast. We can see like if it was on the lightest, it's a little hard to read some of the pencil. Like look in the upper right-hand corner where I've written in pencil, it's because of the, the glare or the lighting. So you can up the contrast. This was the middle setting. This is making it as high contrast as possible, which is a little bit too much. I liked it right there in the middle. Everything is legible, but you could play around with those settings. So I do have a second page that I want to include in this PDF. So in the lower right hand corner, I'm going to click the plus to add my second page. I'm going to turn my page over here and just hold this up. Again, I'm not even pressing any buttons at all. It is automatically taking the three pictures of the paper for me. So this is page two and I can adjust the contrast for page two if I need to. And this looks good. I'm done. So I'm going to go to the upper right hand corner and hit next. And it's showing me my two pages here. And now I want to very quickly send it to myself. So in the lower left hand quarter, corner, click the share icon. You have options here. You can email to yourself. I'm going to show you how to upload this straight into your Google Drive so you can avoid the middleman of like having to text it to yourself or email it to yourself. So I'm going to click on open PDF in, open PDF in, and then it's going to give me some options here. So I'm just going to find my Google Drive, click on my drive, and I do have different Google accounts, so I'm going to choose the one that I want. I'm going to put this in my work account. Here, if you want to rename the file, you can. So I'm just going to call it practice upload. And then you can choose a folder where you want to store it. I'm just going to store it in my drive and say save here and it's going to upload that straight into my Google Drive. Oh, I have to hit upload in the upper right hand corner. Okay, there we go. So now it's been saved right into my Google Drive and I can open it in Google Drive on my phone. But really what I wanna do is open it up on my computer in Google Drive so that I can quickly have access to it on my computer. Okay, so we're gonna switch over to the computer and now I am in Google Drive and I can just click on recent and here it is right on top and we are ready to go. It's a two page PDF. The image quality looks great. There's high contrast and because it is a PDF and I've saved it in this way, not as a photo, but as just a PDF, it's a small file size as well, which is advantageous. There are some other good scan to PDF apps that you can use. This is just the one that I use and I really like it because it's, it's quick, simple, and like I said, gives you really good high contrast photos. If you're having trouble getting a good quality photo, you might wanna put your paper against a dark background and make sure that you have good lighting.